seven countries with the toughest education in the world. 1. South Korea Koreans take education seriously. Kids go to school seven days a week, sometimes until late in the evening. Hogwarts, private tutoring academies, are a booming business. Many families spend a fortune on private tutors. Studying late into the night is the norm. Kids attend extra classes on weekends too. South Korea produces excellent test takers, but it's criticized for stifling creativity. 2. Finland Teachers in Finland assign little or no homework. Holiday breaks can last up to 11 weeks. Students spend less than four hours studying a day. There is no standardized testing until high school. Schools focus on developing critical thinking skills. There is virtually no competition or ranking. Schools provide free meals, health care, and counseling. Outdoor activities and field trips are common. 3. Japan Student attendance is almost perfect in Japan. Kids hardly ever miss school, even when sick. There's a strong cultural emphasis on discipline and hard work. In school, children tidy up after themselves. Even first graders sweep and mop classrooms. After school club activities are mandatory for all. Clubs teach teamwork, discipline, and time management. School uniforms are strictly enforced. Teachers command great respect and authority. Questioning a teacher is disrespectful behavior. Rote learning and memorization are emphasized. 4. Singapore There are no mid-year exams in Singapore. Students take bite-sized tests throughout the year instead. This prevents last-minute cramming for one big test. There's an emphasis on learning beyond just academics. Schools focus on developing life skills and values. Bilingualism is promoted from an early age. Students must learn English, plus a mother tongue language. There's a strong merit-based culture in Singapore. 5. Netherlands Dutch schools encourage self-directed, independent learning. Students have a say in what and how they learn. There is no national curriculum. Schools have the freedom to develop their own teaching methods. They start teaching kids skills for the job market early. Vocational training is highly valued, not just university prep. 6. China The literacy rate in China is 99.4%. Parents have high academic expectations for kids. Getting into a top university is seen as a top priority. After school tutoring is nearly universal in China. Chinese parents spend $17,400 a year on extracurriculars. Classes typically begin at 7.30 a.m. and end at 5 p.m. The dreaded college entrance exam, Gaokao, is make or break. Preparations for the Gaokao start in elementary school. 7. Switzerland There are four national languages in Switzerland. German, French, Italian, and Romanche. Learning at least one is mandatory. Swiss students learn multiple languages from an early age. There is a big emphasis on vocational training programs. Over two-thirds of students go into apprenticeship tracks. This system produces a skilled job-ready workforce. Class sizes are small to allow personalized attention. There are no national exams and barely any rankings of schools. 